Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Captain Radar. Today we're going to be um, exploring, slash going over a little bit of the history of the William Floyd Estates, which is about... I'm not going to give a time frame of how far away from my house because I don't want you coming and finding me. Um, <clears throat> so, let's, uh, let's pick up the camera and jump into it. So, uh, here's a little bit more information about the, the property and, and all of that. Right now the house is actually closed for a reconstruction progress. Not progress, pro uh, whatever. So, <clears throat> yeah. So as you see, that's what it looks like. We'll actually go see it in real life in a couple of seconds. Well, yeah. Well, uh, to get to the property, after you cross the, the road that they have here, you're going to be greeted to a couple of benches that we're about to walk up to. So I guess I'll give you a little bit of the, the history of the property. Uh, <clears throat> it was originally owned by Floyd's father, or General Floyd, which if you know anything about General Floyd, he was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. I'm looking at my phone for notes because I forgot to put it up on a teleprompter on the screen. Uh, <laughs> Which, which was Richard Floyd, which was, he originated from Wales. So, yeah, and let's, uh, let's now take our first step onto the property and, well, onto the, the grounds of where the house is and let's take a look at the outside since, like I said, we can't go in it until next year, so there may be another part where I do the inside of the tour because, let's be honest, I love this property because it just brings out I don't know it just has all this history that if you actually sit there and listen you'll hear it. so here's the the outside of the property the con it it was constructed in oh come on phone my phone doesn't want to cooperate with me what else is new uh, it was constructed in 1724 and it got the name the Old Mastic House, which I'm guessing it got the name because it was the first house in this area, which, hey, it's not my fault you picked a bad town, but hey, it's a gorgeous house, though. It's a Georgian architecture? I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a contractor or a, someone that's into architecture, so yeah. So yeah, as, well, as I was saying before, the, the house was constructed in 1724 because the father immigrated from Wales, of all places, and, that fa and his family immigrated from Wales and the first ever reports of him being here was in 1660s. So I'm, I think they lived upstate and there's another property upstate that the Floyd family owns. I've never been there, and to be honest, I didn't even know that he owned another property until we, until doing some research for this, for this video. Floyd grew up in the house, and yeah, he grew up in this house, and he had his family grow up in the house. So during the Battle of Long Island, about a Battle of Setauket. Granted, this is nowhere near Setauket. This is a the view of the. One of the sides of the house, I don't know what side. So, the other side, I, I already looked, it's already filled with a bunch of stuff with construction, so we're not gonna really look over it, but we can look there, and that, yeah. So there's a couple of buildings that are actually on the property, as well as the, the cemetery that Floyd, I believe Floyd himself is buried, and a lot of his family members, the most recent person that has been buried was 2013. All of the, oh, okay, all the barns are closed. Okay, well, I guess this is what happens when you come first thing in the morning, nobody uh, has everything open, but you can see the Dutch oven. <laughs> At least I think it's a Dutch oven, I don't know. I'm not a, into the whole architecture thing either. So, yeah. 
least I think that's a Dutch oven. Um, yeah, so actually, I, what I will try to do is poke my head, well not poke my head, but poke the lens to see where, if you guys can see what's inside the barn. Actually, is there a window on the other side that would probably be a lot better? Yes, there is. Um, because the first barn, I believe, was a wood shop, if I remember correctly. Again, I'm going off of memory for a lot of this stuff because they, oh, I can't get it. Right. Yeah, it's a wood shop. So, see if I can find a way to show you guys. I know you can see me, so hi. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can find another window. Thanks. Is it ISO or something? I don't know, camera stuff, man. Nope. Yeah. I thought this video was going to be better. Yeah, you can sort of see the inside of it. Yeah, this is where they did all the, the wood shop stuff. So here's another structure that we can actually go into in a way. It's the, uh, I guess, farming equipment. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. So in this barn, or in this little hut child thing, I don't know. I hit my head every time I go into it. Um, it has a couple of agriculture, I think, things. You attach horses to it, I think. Yeah, those are the other two sheds. I'll call them sheds. I don't know what they really are, but we can't really get into them because they're locked and to be honest, I don't really feel like asking anyone to go unlock it. Maybe the next time I'm here, I'll, I'll be open. <sighs> so let's go and look at the other location. Do you, you know, let me know down in the comments if you like this type of video. Or let me know if you want me to slow down because I feel like I should probably slow down a little more. Okay, and we're back. So this is the, the second bar, or second storage shed thing that is on the property. That it has more fe farming field, field? Yeah, field tilling things. I don't know, I'm not a farmer. All I know, I know where my food comes from. It comes from a big store down the road. Um, <clears throat> This is where the, uh, where they would come and pump in the water because, you know, they didn't really have running water back then. And off camera, because, you know, international baddie here, I, uh, opened this door and there are some barrels in here. I'm not going in there. Ooh, some chain. Looks like a good time. It's very kinky though. Um. You know, it's okay for you to laugh. You don't have to sit in silence. Ooh, porcelain tub. So. And then I'm guessing this is where the feed was for, for the horses and all that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know if I said this in the last clip or not, but if you guys are interested in stuff like this, let me know down below. Because I would love to do more videos like it. Yeah, so I guess uh, to give you more history of this is... It's in the town of Brookhaven on Long Island in Mastic, New York. Alrighty, so right around this bend is the the grave sites. Oh yeah, I gotta be respectful, I'll take the hat off and all that nonsense. Uh, are the grave sites that I'm not actually gonna go into for reasons because I don't want to disturb them. Uh, of the Floyd family. And then we, we will actually walk over to it because it's not, <laughs> sorry, mosquitoes. Uh, we will actually walk over to the next part because it's not a closed off area, which is the, the burial site of all the slaves. So here's the, yeah, so that's the, the graves of the Floyd family. There, I, the last time I looked, if I remember correctly, the latest one is 2013. <laughs> so these are the graves of the former slaves. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.